Attention all of Dogtown residents, this is Kirk Hansen. An unmarked aircraft is craft in our district. The craft... Я перезвоню.
Pas bon
Songez qui laisse qui bosse là. Thank <laughs> you. 
Attaquez le sous-côté
Right now, them with you.
I'm just here on biz! You have biz with the voodoo boys? Yeah. Well, used to. After what you just did, thinking they'll want a new supplier. Voodoos can't just go to a ripper for their chrome? This cyberware isn't for installing. It's for tinkering. Some kind of experiments. Research on implants? What was that all about? Don't know, don't care. I got enough problems. Milko Alexis, a voodoo boy. Know the name? Yeah. About all I know, though. Guy practically lives in the net. Seems like he's got everyone walking on eggshells. Big deal, I guess. Where can I find him? Don't ask me. Got enough problems as it is. Talk, or your skull really will be in pieces. Don't scare me. Ah, fucking psycho! Oh, fuck, the nose! Oh, it hurts like a motherfucker! Ready to talk? Fine! Fine! Whatever! Just stop! Right, so these implants. The voodoos break most of them down. Looking for code exploits, new hacks, and so on. Whatever they don't use, they install in old robots. Piles of scrap, most of them. But one came together real nice. Robots? What for? What for? Think for a sec. If this Milko guy's so important, probably needs round-the-clock protection. Running out of time to spare. Know any way of getting around those bots. Nothing gets past their motion sensors. Slipping by unnoticed is a non-starter for sure. How's your aim? I manage. Hmm. The voodoos, they keep their bots in some kind of server room. I can overload the disk arrays, then you... You fuck up the servers till they go boom. Should result in a pulse big enough to melt the circs of the rank and file. Okay, feel free to Delta. I got work to do. Hmm. Must be nice.
Human life signature detected. Initiating evacuation protocol. Unlocking emergency exit. Hey, hey, careful with that. I'm linked to the runner, see? Don't want him to catch a ricochet, huh?
Let's talk. Promise. <laughs>
Это плохо кончится. Падай, сука! Привет, Ви. Хороший день для пары раундов. Пойдешь? Как тебе мой новый мальчик для битья? Только что надрал мне жопу, засрань. Даже интересно, как он справится с такой, как ты. Хочешь попробовать? Давай попробуем. Легче на ногах. Голова все время в движении. Не думала профессионально заняться. Я могу тебе устроить пару боев. Что скажешь? Ты сам выходишь на ринг? Теперь нет. Слишком часто получал по голове. Рефлексы уже не те, что прежде. Ну, говорят, Кирезников хорош. Ты говорил насчет боев? Ну да. Я видел тебя на ринге. Есть чутье. Эти... Выгодно. Для нас... Привет, Ви. Сейчас начинать будем. Если надо, в туалет. Давай бегу. Спасибо за заботу. Можем начинать. Ну так давай на площадку. Только тебя и ждем. Заждались уже. Сколько вас? 
всего шестеро. Маловато. Ну ладно, что уж поделать. Правила простые. Видишь, мишень стреляй. Даже если это мишень соперника, все равно стреляй. Кто больше подстрелит, тот и побеждает. Стреляем по мишеням, а не по соперникам. А, и вот еще что. Только малый калибр. Не выпендривайтесь мне тут со своими пулеметами и бомбострелами. Первый приз — пистолет. Не простой, а классный, охрененный, прямо скажу, пистолет. Ладно, хорош болтать. Перейдем к делу. Готово? А ну убирай свою двустволку, я же сказал, только малый калибр. Э, я пистолет забыл. В другой куртке. Пушку надо держать в кабуре. В кабуре. Шел вон отсюда, чтобы я тебя больше не видел. Да чё психуешь-то? Чумба. Иду я, иду. Бисер перед свиньями, как-то так. Кончили. Центр настоящего мяса с кровью. Бойня. Пробуди свои... Первое место Руди, второе Ви. Остальные неудачники. Сколько вас? Всего шестеро. Маловато. Ну ладно, что уж поделать. Правила простые. Ведь... Видишь, мишень стреляет. Даже если это мишень соперника, все равно стреляет. Кто больше подстрелит, тот и побеждает. А, и вот еще что. Только малый калибр. Не выпендривайтесь мне тут со своими пулеметами и бомбострелами. Первый приз – пистолет. Не простой, а классный, охрененный, прямо скажу, пистолет. Ладно, хорош болтать. Перейдем к делу. Эй, 
чего это у тебя? А ну убирай свою двустволку, я же сказал, только малый калибр. Э, я пистолет забыл. В другой куртке. Пушку надо держать в кабуре. В кабуре. Шел вон отсюда, чтобы я тебя больше не видел. Да чё психуешь-то? Чумба. Иду я, иду. Бисер перед свиньями, как-то так. Ладно. Три, два, один. Первое место Руди, второе Ви, остальные неудачники. Сколько вас? Всего шестеро. Маловато. Ну ладно, что уж поделать. Правила простые. Видишь, мишень стреляй. Даже если это мишень соперника, все равно стреляй. Кто больше подстрелит, тот и побеждает. Стреляем по мишеням, а не по соперникам. Первый. Ладно. Готово. Ну убирай свою двустволку, я же сказал, только малый калибр. Э, я пистолет забыл, в другой куртке. Пушку надо держать в кабуре, в кабуре. Шел вон отсюда, чтобы я тебя больше не видел. Да чё психуешь-то, чумба? Иду я, иду. Бисер перед свиньями, как-то так. Ладно. Три, два, один. Три по мишени. Не в тенту, а по мишени. Молодец, Руди, 
давай, давай. Ты, осталась половина. Ну, давай, смирись ты. Лиза, ты чего это? Очки надеюсь, собой? Последний шанс. А, обожаю запах города и раскаленного света. Стоп, все стоп. Закончили. Первое место Руди, второе Ви. Остальные неудачники. Учитесь стрелять. Все свободны. Ладно, Уилсон, пока. До скорого. Твой 45-й тебя ждет, не дождется. Прям поет после каждого выстрела. Ну, показывай.
Ну, показывай. Ну, показывай. Ну, показывай. Я Джиллиан Джордж. Вот уже третий год подряд корпорация Мелитех признается лучшим работодателем на Эдсити. Компания побеждает благодаря ряду Бюджета. Департамент, который ранее отвечал за сертификацию имплантов, закроется уже в следующий вторник. Теперь производители будут сами заниматься сертификацией имплантов, руководствуясь при этом собственными стандартами. Спасибо, что вы остались. В прошлом году городской совет Найт-Сити избавил 32 корпорации от уплаты налогов на прибыль. В их числе Кантао, Арасака, Мур Технологис и Дайнала. Поясню. Совокупный доход этих компаний – это десятки триллионов евро -тон.
Still up? Something the matter? Get down. Can't get spotted by Dodger's men. If it makes you feel better. Listen, this is serious, okay? You don't mess with Dodger's people. Okay, sure. Pretty comfy, actually. This. Need your help with my fiance Bill and his buddy Charlie. They're trapped in the building across the street. Hans mentioned they're both in CPD. Both grade A gonks too. Sometimes do side gigs around town. Wanted to cut a deal with Dodger, but things obviously went south. Bill called me from inside, said only that, and I quote, "It's bad. And if I don't get help, Dodger will paint the walls with their brains." It's bad. Nothing else. It's really bad, Stella. Please get help. I love you. Sweet of him, but not really what I was after. When I asked what happened, he said it was too complicated for a quick hollow. So, Bill's your fiance. Charlie's his partner. What else can you tell me about him? Bill. Bill's a good guy, but Charlie, he's like the big older brother that gets you into all kinds of shit. Okay, so we don't like Charlie. Look, Night City's turned all of us into who we are, but Charlie, he's a fucking magnet for trouble. Always has been. So you, Bill, and Charlie are all badges with a whole precinct full of badge chooms at your back. But instead, you call him Merc. Dodger's not exactly a legit businessman. Can't call dispatch for this. They'll crucify us. Why has Dodger got you all shaken at the knees? He's a dealer with close ties to Hansen. 
total psycho, too. Moved to Dogtown to avoid serious prison time. Just please try not to wipe Dodger's men. You'll make things go from bad to worse. Take this access card. Dodger took over an abandoned NCPD precinct. Security systems are still up and running, so this should get you in without a hitch. Upside to last-gen NCPD tech, huh? Save them. Please. He's not. Riddle me that. Oh, you gonna pay? I know! 
Иван! What they paying you for? There's a switch to the right. Use it! My right? Or oh, your right? My fucking right! Hello? It's V. Here to help you guys out? Finally! Bill's losing his fucking mind over here! Okay, let's try to get this open. Fucking slap this thing! Little help! Better step back. Jesus fucking Christ! I know. What the fuck? Don't worry. Not my blood. <laughs> the hell happened? Uh... Better see for yourself. It's just through here. What in the... This is Bill. Hi. Who is your friend? Uh, oh, me? Just told you, I I'm Bill. Thanks, Bill. Got that. No, I mean the dead fucking body on the table you somehow failed to mention to Stella. We we, we didn't kill him, okay? We, we we swear. Hey, long as you're paying, I'm just looking at two innocent cops standing over a dead body. Go on. Tell her about your genius idea. My idea? You're the one who Plan set up the deal with was Dodger. rock fucking solid. If only you didn't leave a bag of drugs in front of a junkie! How was I supposed to know he'd swallow it? You said drugs? Oh, you go! No, you! I swear to fucking God. When like this. Choom over here clips Dodger's shit. Hightails it to NC. We catch wind, Dodger's put out a bounty to bag him. Bring back his nose candy. Bump right into him during a routine stop. Dumb fucking luck! Chum was carrying seven ounces of sin coke, so we cuffed him, took him here. Exemplary police work, truly. So we're here, waiting on Dodger, when Bill pops the baggie on the table like it's nothing. All of a sudden, this gonk turd yells, fuck you pigs, and stuffs the bag in his mouth. Could have had a food tube implant, like a deep, wide throat. Yeah. Like the one your mom's got. Fuck you even talking about, Bill. Couldn't get him to just spit it out? We tried to make a trek oh tr track it tra fuck. Poke a fucking hole in his neck. No dice. Bag must have broke cause he got all foamy at the mouth. 
started spazzing out, and then just croaked. That's when we started to panic. This fool gulped tens of thousands worth of eddies. What the fuck else are we supposed to do? If the bag already broke, why bother trying to play Operation? We panicked, all right? Shit happens. It's... It's all gone. Dissolved. And now Dodger's gonna end us. So you bring him the thief who swiped his dope. Only now, there's no thief. Or dope. Yeah. It's about the gist of it. You gotta help us get out of here. All right, let's get moving. One last tiny thing. Came here in our squad car and, uh, kinda need it back. Just keeps getting better. Where is it? In the garage. To the garage it's we official, go. It's official, V. Finally made it to the major leagues. League of first class leadheads, to be precise. Nice of you to join us, Johnny. Oh, Always Stella's value gonna your kill interest. me if she finds out what we did. I'm a dead man walking. Know what you could use? What? A nice big pair of balls. Oh, cause you're such a tough guy? Not like you stutter in front of the cap every fucking time. I don't fucking stutter. Let us through here before. What was the code again? 2893? It was 2983. Idiot, it was 2893. Saw him punch it. Go on. Didn't work. <laughs> ah! 2983, I fucking told you. Dodger school. Careful. No killing, all right? Got enough problems as it is. Shit, another door. It's sealed tight. Again? Come on, guys. Hey, this wasn't us, okay? Gotta be a switch around here somewhere. Dodger will drown us in eddies, Bill. The plan is foolproof, Bill. Trust me, I know what I'm saying, Bill. <sighs> Shut up, Bill. So what if it's fucking Pacifica? What? Too pussy to set foot there, Bill? Afraid of her?
Our squad car's right through here. You do have them, don't you? The keys. Shit. Wait, don't tell me you left them upstairs. Chill, Chum. Got them right here. Would you look at that? A welcoming party. How thoughtful. Greetings, fellas. Oh, I'm out early. We... Uh, we can explain. Quiet. You I don't know. Care to introduce yourself? Name's V. Got no clue what I'm doing here. Honest. I like. Oh, your fuck now! Uh, Everything's going to shit! Uh, uh, uh. Safe to come out. Dodger ain't breathing. Is it over? Yep. Nothing left but to hop in your ride, flee the scene. Sure you can manage that much. Thanks. So are we going or what? Yeah, yeah. Hey, thanks again. Okay, I'll radio us in, tell him we're back. Wait, I'll get Stella on the hollow first.
Ладно, мне пора. Держаться, держаться!
bitch now. Just lose the company. Санта-Доминго. Совершено преступление. Вас понял. Жду координаты. к патрулированию. активности.
новенький!
89.3 Radio Wechselstrom The Voice of the Machine
Attention, this is Kirk Hansen. Good news, Dogtown. A certain president has turned up in Washington. Safe and sound. Now, if I were a betting man, I'd say she was there all along. Our unflinching response to the end was a blatant provocation. и получи шанс выиграть недельную путевку на двоих в Хрустальный дворец. Десять казино, пять бассейнов. Two seven five three.
Over here. <laughs> Was that you shooting at the place? I almost feel sorry for them. Almost. Let me guess. Zeta take higher. I think I know why you're here. Client lost some items. Tech stuff. Like, say, a prototype and some schematics. Huh? They might have locked me up, but I kept the signal pinging from my prototype. I knew the corp would send someone eventually. Mm-hmm. Cute. Now the short version. Who are you? Hassan Demir, Zeta Tech engineer. Only survivor of the scav ambush. How'd you get caught with your pants down? Zeta Tech didn't map the route? It was an undercover operation. Minimal security, maximum secrecy. Only language scavs speak is brute force. Think you forgot Dogtown, eh, Night City? Noted. Now, I have a proposition. Get me out, and I help you find the tech. Yes? Fixer didn't mention a rescue op. Only the prototype. You got it? Oh, I have it. Wait, wait, wait. Telling me you planted that tech in your own damn skull? Well, I figured it was the safest way. The border control scans don't recognize unreleased tech. In retrospect, it does seem uh, rather foolish. Then again, it bought me a few hours of life. We're a package deal, the prototype and I. You won't get it while I'm here, withering away. More luck than sense, this one. How gonk you gotta be to chip yourself with prototype tech? No offense, V. Of course, unless Zeta Tech forced him into it, made a guinea pig out of it. Prototech's capricious, erratic. For a Zeta Tech engineer, sure took a big gamble planting that thing. Indeed, a gamble. Yet the alternative was far more dangerous. Right. And Big Daddy Zeta Tech, all cool with letting some Dogtown Ripper fuck around with Papa's priceless prototech? Papa was not informed of the decision. Now, can we please take this conversation outside? Why all the drama over some measly implant? Some implant? Measly? Please, this design is a potential Kiroshi buster. <clears throat> We at the firm learned some Santo Domingo riffraff stole it from Arasaka Industrial Park. Naturally, we investigated. I was to conclude the sale at the stadium. Hush hush, not so much as a beep on Arasaka's radar. And well, here I am. Not here to rescue hostages. Look, if you want the implant, you need to take me to a ripper. Extracting it is a delicate process. Prototype's all I need. It's condition? Whole another gig. That still leaves the schematics. Uh, listen, I can show you where they're holding them. So that's your scheme, huh? Fine. Try anything funny, though. There is a time and a place to be funny. This isn't it. Yeah. Now to crack open this door. Bypass the security. If you can't, the guard room's nearby. Maybe they have a passcode. Hey, maybes. I already found it.
Well, I see Zeta Tech spared no expense in hiring a real professional. Now your time to shine. How do you know where these schema docs are at? Their workshop. The scavs took me there, forced me to remove the security protocols on the tech they'd swiped. Uh huh. Lead the way then. And no gonk moves. Jesus, is that... Harry? The man was a real prick, but this... It's barbaric. I suppose this would have been my fiery grave if you hadn't shown up. Burned at Zeta Tech. Nearly burned here. Ah... <sighs> Right, right. This is it. It's got to be here. Somewhere. Found it! Prem, Got it. Stay close. We'll get you out of here. Wait. I heard you slaughtering them. Which means so did half of Longshore. This place is about to be swarming with scavs. You got an idea? Let's hear it. The drawbridge. I've seen the scavs use it. I suppose it's their emergency exit from the scraper. ...will vanish before they realize. Little to no risk. See? Not as burdensome as you thought I was. It's time we were on our way. Couple more steps. Keeping it quiet. Out of sight, out of harm. If they don't spot us, we'll be just fine. Come on, Hassan. Keep it together. Now to disable the bridge. Better not have scavs on our backs, no? Weren't lying about being an engineer, huh? Hey, as long as it stops working. <laughs> Should be safe here. Ah, <sighs> I owe you one, truly. It was getting quite ugly back there. Sure thing. Not like I'm leaving empty-handed, right? Well, uh, I suppose I can take it from here. I'll tell my superiors you did one hell of a job. Oh, no, no, no. You'll sit tight while I call my fixer, grab some transport. Sure he'll want to handle the prototype personally. No, no, wait. I, uh... I can't go back to Zeta Tech. You know what? Getting on my nerves, Choom. You get one answer. What the fuck's your deal? And my deal, uh... Ah... Uh... I don't intend to return to Zeta Tech. I plan to grab the prototype and vanish into Dogtown. I had a buyer. I was waiting on the signal to run. Then the scavs attacked and everything went to shit. Going back, it... It would be a death sentence. How'd you imagine playing a Megacorp? Must have had some kind of plan? I did, though I couldn't do it all on my own. I arranged a buyer at Dogtown Stadium. We would have met, were it not for these savages. Buyer could have hazed you, though. True. So I had the prototype implanted. It became my bargaining chip. He knew he couldn't harm me without jeopardizing the tech. I was to vanish during the convoy's inspection at the border. I arranged an unmarked car, bribed the guards. 
But then the ambush, well... Why are you so hell-bent on clapping this tech? Do you even have the faintest idea how much it's worth? Uh, more than your life, right? Ah, I have no family, no friends. I gave my life to the corporation. The sacrifices I made. And for what? What life? The bastards stole it! The money from the prototype would have afforded me a fresh start. Wait, how in the hell did you think that was going to go? I tell my fixer, sorry, shit out of luck, prototype bounced. Just say it got lost, moved, I don't know. I cut the signal. Your fixer can have the schematics. They're just as valuable. You can even fuck. Should have schemed a little harder before you squirmed into a Sakazeta scavenger shit witch. I fucked up, okay? If I'd known. Please, if you send me back, I'm dead. Newsflash, Chum. Dead already. They'll find you and snuff you before you walk with that tech. Then, I give up. Kill me. I'm not being dramatic. I'd rather die by your hand than their tortures. Okay. You and me never met. Our story? Scav's got the schematics prototype win a wall. We clear. You? Really? Yes. Understood. I... Thank you. Now I delta. You? Find a big-ass rock, crawl under it. I mean it, Hassan. Zeta Tech gets a half a whiff. You dead. Right. Okay. Sly bastard bamboozled the corp and you in the process. Do nothing for Hassan. But I got a feeling his luck ain't gonna last. Attention, this is Kirk Hansen. Good news, Dogtown. A certain president has turned up in Washington. Safe and sound. Now, if I were a betting man, I'd say she was there all along. Our unflinching response to the end with a blatant provocation proved effective. What else can I say? Rosalind, if you're ever really in Dogtown, we're ready to welcome you with open arms.
What? He's a local girl through and through. I have a huge crush on the grid myself. V, a little birdie chirp that you retrieved say to text paraphernalia. Any issues? Birdie didn't say. Prototype wasn't around. Right. Got schematics though. Got an issue? It's certainly a snag. Zeta Tech will not be thrilled, but I suppose that's my cross to bear. Transferring your compensation now. Hey, hold, hang on a sec, Hans. Remember our deal? Yes, the Black Sapphire. I have an entry strategy for you. Foolproof. Beat me at the heavy hearts. Okay, be there soon. We should go check the wreckage. Hmm. Fuck the cool. Generators! Filters!
believe what that ass clown said. Hey, you there. This is a nice place. So play nice, hear me? Got our eyes everywhere. Isn't V. V, my favorite Merc. Splendid. What you completed for me significantly shifted the playing field vis a vis Hanson. Excellent work, precisely as requested. Come on, Hans. Flattery? Really? Seems a little beneath you. An overused tactic. Agreed. Unnecessary. No, V, this is strictly business. For those who do their work well, praise is a mere restating of the facts. My 
might be the one thing I didn't expect. To see the man behind the hollow curtain. The elusive Mr. Hands in the flesh. Not only did you rescue those clowns in blue, you also managed to eliminate Dodger. Calm, collected, and professional. Bravo. You have proven to be a person I can trust. Hence my decision to drop the veil and meet in person. A rare occurrence, I assure you. Were I to have more virtuosos like you, I wager I'd have more than Dogtown in my grasp. Dogtown, Pacifica, then I'd line up the rest, snort, and it'll be done. Working with bona fide professionals, positively a treat. Hope all that hard work won't go to waste. Profit for me means profit for you. Nothing simpler. You may not know this, but I hasten to assure you no one has ever regretted doing business with me. I know it may not seem all that clear from where you stand, but... The... gigs you have completed will allow me to audaciously shift some of the pawns and figures on the chessboard that is Dogtown. Checkmate is but a few moves away. Take it you'd prefer Dogtown with no Hanson at the helm? Hanson wields much power, greedily so. He's also clever. These traits I tolerate, even value, when occurring in isolation. But all at once, no. Especially not in one who grips an entire district in the palm of his hand. It makes business... trying. And arrest you in some tea. It's my own blend. Sure, why not? So, how did this combat zone become Dogtown? Do you know? Shall we continue? I heard this and that. Something to do with the war? 2069. Colonel Hansen led an operation colorfully called Midnight Storm. The objective? To occupy this combat zone and establish an NUSA staging ground in Night City. Soon after, the sides agreed to a ceasefire. Hansen's force was left to fend for itself. Headquarters, the public, everyone feigned ignorance, pretending Hansen and company were never here. But our good colonel decided to put down roots. He declared this combat zone an NUSA territory. In our terms, he carved out an enclave for himself and went from soldier to arms dealer overnight. Marooned he was. Two weeks for a bullet to reach his brain, everyone thought. But his brain remained intact and he became a force to be reckoned with. A man whose existence is a threat to many is a dangerous man indeed. It's all well and good chit-chatting, but what about our deal? Did my part, time you did yours. Ah, indeed, yes. The Black Sapphire, Hanson's stronghold, guarded by elite soldiers. 
Military quarters are situated on lower levels, while top floors are a decadent haven for the ultra-rich. The building's blueprint was not easily procured, I should say. Hansen guards his hotel secrets as if they were an embarrassing rectal itch. But, given a will, ways are usually found. You help a client of mine, they reciprocate, and I gain latitude. Quid pro quo in full effect. The building plans are yours. I'll even throw in vulnerabilities to watch for, a token of my appreciation. And, though this goes without saying, the data, its source, are completely secure. No one knows you have it. Data leaks, or lack thereof, are the difference between myself and, say, the late Mr. Deshawn. The Shard. Black Sapphire and Phone Blueprints. All nooks and crannies. I trust it's all you need to waltz in and perform your planned pirouettes. Yet a word of caution. Even fully prepared, you'll be marching into a pit full of vipers. Watch your step. Honestly, I was counting on more than hotel blueprints. I have no doubt an industrious individual like yourself will make the best of them. The same goes for some new assignments I will line up for you soon. Let me guess. More local political gaming? Activity is abundant in Dogtown, and behind closed doors, plots and schemes. Should change ever occur, as it inevitably must, someone really ought to pave the way for a smooth transition. Nice meeting you. Finally pinning a face on the name. You should count yourself lucky. Few have done so and lived to tell the tale. And V, whatever happens at the Black Sapphire, make sure you come back alive, hmm? You're going where local and international politics mix. Strong currents, both. I'll make sure to plant my feet firmly then. Later, hands.
Reed, got the data shard from hands. Our golden ticket into the Black Sapphire. Perfect. Set it through. No worries. This connection's secure. Catch. It's on its way. And reception complete. I'll pass it on to Alex. And as soon as you're ready, join us at the Moth. If I'm not there when you arrive, just wait. Till then. Hey! <laughs> why you not come play with us anymore? I have a job now! Can't you tell? Oh, that's tough. <laughs> Rotors! Crankshafts! Cylinders! Cheap! Quality guaranteed! Daily 
доллар как вы крутите? Итак, какой процент от прибыли платят городу 20 крупнейших корпораций? Боюсь, мне нужно уточнить 0,7%. Вот сколько. 0. Джентльмены, будьте любезны, не перестаньте, вы действительно считаете, что вы участвуете в этой демагогии. Вы несете чушь. Да, налоги низкие. И это отлично. Держим курс на вкус, знаменитыми... Я думаю, что командир имеет хуйный скин, And how would I even know that? Because I heard he called you into his office and fucking flagged you. No idea what you're talking about. This is Kurt Hansen. You are now in job town. Rule one, no MCPD. That is a bullet to the brain. Rule two, no force. You're just not welcome. Rule three. Блин. P, what's wrong? Come on. It's fine. I'm all right. Sit down. How can I help? Really? <clears throat> Starting to get used to it. This the relic? It's worse every day. Time I have left evaporating quick. You experience them often? These attacks? Don't really keep count, but never know if the next one won't be my last. Wow, rough. No shit. Death's breathing down my neck, always. I know what that feels like. Being a dead man walking? Exactly. I never talked about this, you know. I should be saying they tried to kill me, but sometimes it feels like they actually succeeded. Tell me more. Ambush. Attempt on my life seven years back. Yeah, he said. What exactly happened there, Reed? I landed in the ICU. Why I waited for some Arasaka goon to come finish me off. I was betrayed. By our people. The FIA. I say betrayed. But I was sold out. Part of a deal. A peace offering. My head on a silver platter. All for a ceasefire. Peace comes at a price. Someone's always got to pay it. Come on, I'm gonna show you something. Hang on. They set you up, yet here you are working for them again? Even deep wounds stop hurting eventually. Scar over. A few years on, they're just a niche. Let's go.
Let's ride down. Where are we headed? On a little trip down memory lane to see some old junk. I still can't believe Alex decided the best place for a bar was right over our old safe house. She's always had a twisted sense of humor. Where's she at? Waiting downstairs? She's finishing up recon in town. We should make ourselves at home until she gets back. Been dark for seven years, this place. Let's brighten things up again. The end of any war is never pretty. Both sides race to tie up loose ends. A car bomb blew up one of my crew. Another was poisoned. A third got shot in the back of the head while buying a pack of smokes. A couple of us just vanished without a trace. Every night we waited for Arasaka agents to come finish us off. I had to make a choice. I chose to dig our heels in. I thought we still had a fighting chance. It was bold. It was stupid. A mix of both. Maybe I just didn't know how to walk away. Let it rest. Or maybe I don't know how to lose. Either way, we managed to save a few more agents. The price for that was yours truly. A tragic story, that. Well, I wrote it myself. You play grown-up games, you face grown-up consequences. Funny. Out of everyone. It was Songbird they asked to pull the trigger. Wait. Yeah. Pulled the trigger as in literally took out her iron and shot you. Not personally, but she unlocked the door for those who came and did. I was leaving the city, heading home. Songbird was still here. In this very room, in fact. She was guiding me on comms, led me straight into a trap. Neutralizing me. Her last assignment in Night City. Then she got a ticket home. Reed, what you're doing now... Is saving her, or is it revenge? I don't have a vengeful bone left in me. I had plenty of time to examine this under a microscope. Under focus, some things sharpen, others blur. But there comes a point when you just cut through the bullshit and see what's in front of you. Songbird is still my people, and nothing can change that. Fuck, Reed. Now, Maya's is a whole nother story, but Songbird, no. I got nothing against her. So why Myers? I miss anything? Some reminiscing. So good, let's get this show going. I checked up on Slider's contention. Fucking had it right, it turns out. I dove into old mission files wherever Somi was involved. They were buried deep, near impossible to access, even with my clearance. Each and every one, the Blackwall, all authorizations, mission orders, personally signed by one person, Rosalind Myers. Wouldn't want to be in her shoes if that shit floats to the top. 
The NUS is a small country governed by a woman with highly ambitious goals. Sometimes those ambitions went out of reason. But that's not something we need to pour over now. Alex, what do you have for us? Oh, a little of this, a little of that. We'll plan in a sec. Say, V. Like playing fancy dress up? Of course. Who doesn't? Mm, then you'll like what I whipped up. Managed to learn that some pop megastar is gonna grace the party with a show. Guest list? Expect everybody who's anybody. That includes you. Gonna don fancy outfits and rub shoulders with VIPs. Be warned though, fancy doesn't mean easy. Ready for the deets, V? Let me hear them. Black Sapphire, the most heavily guarded place in Dogtown. Doesn't mean security's airtight, though. V, you're gonna enter through a flooded tunnel system. Got a top-of-the-line diving suit, ought to fit you snug as a glove. Water's maybe a little super toxic. So yeah, be careful. Toxic how, exactly? Hmm, from suspect waste, some sewage leak too. Don't worry, suit's pissing shit proof. Already know what the hotel looks like. Really, really hard to miss. Flooded tunnels here. That's your way inside. Now focus. You'll reach a terminal at the end, jack in and breach the cams, giving Reed his window to slip into the building. You'll take different elevators up, here. Saul will open a passage to his side. For you ask, yeah, it's the only way. Area could be heavily guarded, so you'll have to be on your tippy toes. Couldn't get clean intel, so you'll just have to be creative. Improvise. You're gonna meet here. Soon as you meet up, you'll doll up like it's prom night and go to the ball. That's where you'll rendezvous with Songbird. All clear? Okay. How are we getting in again? You're swimming in through flooded tunnels. Reed will take the high road after you let him inside. Sound good? Okay. How are we getting in again? You're swimming in through flooded tunnels. Reed will take the high road after you let him inside. Sound good? Remind me, how do I get Reed in? You'll swim to the other side, find the terminal, jack in, breach the cams, locate Reed, and crack a door. Then you'll take elevators up, Reed will open a path to his side. You'll then sneak past the guards and stroll into the party like NC royalty. Seared all that into your brain? Yup. Prime. Okay, let's talk gear. Take your time. Grab anything you think might be useful. A surprise awaits you in the box. This your iron? Sure is. Her Majesty's been itching to return to active duty. I'd be honored. That reminds me. Hands. What did he want in return for the favor he did us? All good? All good? Wanted to test the waters, see which way the currents were flowing. Hansen's dominance over Dogtown doesn't benefit Hans' know-how, so he's out to level the playing field. Politics. It's the same shit wherever you go. You know, if not for you, we'd have no way of getting into the Black Sapphire reaching Somburg. 
It's good to have you on our side. I mean, Effie. That it? We set? I believe we are. I'll hang back a while and then meet you there. Place stinks of memories, huh? A little dusty, but well preserved. What are we gonna do with it once I'm on the Riviera? Gonna lock yourself in here, fondle all this old dead tech till your balls shrivel up? Burn it to the ground's what we'll do. And never come back. Now that I like. Mm-hmm. <sighs> 